huge fish. Oh my God, it's a huge fish, guys. This fish is huge. I don't have my net, this fish is huge. It's the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. The biggest fish I've ever caught in my life, no doubt. Please let this fish get in the boat. What's up everybody kicking this one off from out here on the boat today. I'm modeling out of the cove. See if we can find them eating man. Bass forecast app says it's supposed to be hammer time out here right now. But as we've learned in the past, that don't necessarily mean anything. But uh, yeah, we had a little weather system roll through earlier. It's overcast, got a little wind. And I think they might be munching. So I'm gonna go try to find them man. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. I appreciate you tuning in. If this is your first time watching, if you do enjoy yourself, consider subscribing to the channel. We're trying to hit 10,000 and we are well on our way. I'd love to have you aboard. And like I said, I'm currently idling out of the cove here on my 2010 Skeeter ZX190 bass boat. Beetlejuice is the name and busting greenheads is the game. So yeah, I'm excited, man. Happy to be back out here on the water. It's been an awesome few days of fishing and we're gonna see if we can go have a repeat performance. So I'm gonna rip off now. I'll see you guys at the first spot, man. Enjoy the vid, let's go. All right, we're here at spot number one. Big island out here with some waterfalls. A really cool looking spot. Thought we'd stop here and hit it real quick. Sometimes I hear people do good over here. I've never really had any luck. Caught a couple on a spinnerbait, I think, one time. But other than that, it's been a no-go for me. But thought we'd stop here and hit it. Something cool to see in the video really quick, even if we don't catch anything. So let's get up here next to this cliff wall. Run this dogma around, see if they'll bust on it on top. If not, I have a swim jig tied on. also have a prawn tied on. And I have a ton of uh, heaters in the boat if we need to retie and make adjustments. I don't know, man. We'll do whatever we got to do, but get over here and see if we can catch us a fish what do you guys say sound good sounds good all right let's go first cast over here by the waterfalls let's get it zebra mussels look at all those zebra mussels man dead zebra mussels just from hitting that wall one time 50 of them on my hook crazy Drop this prawn down there and see what happens. Nice fish. It's a huge fish. Oh my God, it's a huge fish, guys. This fish is huge. I don't have my net, this fish is huge. This fish, it's the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. Biggest fish I've ever caught in my life, no doubt. Look at this thing. Oh my God, please get this. Please let this fish get in the boat. Oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe this. I can't believe this fish. PB, PB without a doubt. That is the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life, dude. Oh my God. Yeah, that's gotta be bigger than the six and a quarter, right? I got her on the swim jig, baby, at the waterfall. Oh my gosh, look at this fish. Dude, look at this fish at the waterfall, baby. Oh my God. Oh my God, at the waterfall, on the Divine Swim Jig. Oh, dude. She freaking smoked the swim jig. I thought I was snagged. I thought I was freaking snagged, dude. Let's get her unhooked. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. 
Oh my gosh, it's the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life, dude. Oh man, I'm so jacked right now. I'm going to give her a dip, and then I'm going to get a weight on her. Dudes. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Will the scales even hold her? Nine pounds, nine pounds, eight ounces. <laughs> Dudes, nine, eight. Locked in at nine and a half pounds. Nine and a half pounds. This is the biggest bass I've ever caught in my life. <laughs> nine and a half pounds. PB, new PB, baby. I'm so jacked right now. I can't believe this. Hotel behind me, I don't care who hears me. Nine pounds, eight ounces. Oh my God, dude. <sighs> Woo! Nine pounds, eight ounces. Locked in, nine pound, eight ounce bass. Woo! New PB. Woo! Nine pound, eight ounce behemoth, guys. Woo! Let's get a release on this fish. She's had enough. I want her to live. Dudes, look at this fish. God, look at her. Look at that, dude. Nine pound, eight ounce bucket on the Devon swim jig, baby. Woo! Are you ready, big girl? I'm gonna let you go. That'd be nice and easy with her. I want her to swim off on her own. Nine pounds, eight ounces. There she goes. There she went. She went, she went down. She went down. She didn't come back up. She ain't coming back up. She went under the boat. She went down. That's the biggest fish I ever caught in my life. Nine pounds, eight ounces. Over here by the waterfall, baby. Boom. Oh my God, I'm so jacked right now. That was awesome. I don't want to lose my phone. Let me get my phone. Nine pounds, eight ounces. New PB, dude. By three and a half pounds. Beat my PB by three and a half pounds. Man. I'm so stoked. I gotta call somebody. I gotta call somebody, man. Hi. Nine pounds, eight ounces. What? Nine pounds, eight huh? ounces. Oh my God. I just caught the biggest bass I've ever seen in my life. Oh, wait till you see this one, babe. Nine pounds, eight ounces, full adrenaline barrel dump right now. I'm shaking, dude. Oh my gosh. I just want to call you. I had to call you. I had to call you. I'm on phone with wifey right now. I'm still recording. On the phone with the wife. I had to call the wife and let her know. I'm about to give Jay Gone Fishing a call because that dude's a big fish hammer and I got to let him know that I just caught a nine, eight, nine and a half pounds. Nine and a half pounds. Woo! That's Baby. Awesome. All on camera on the Devon smoke. Devon swim jig heaters, baby. At the waterfall, babe. Came really? over through the swim jig into the waterfall and just started slow crawling it. Counted to five, started slow crawling it. And then all of a sudden I just felt a thump and I said, that could be a bite. And I just set the hook and I was like, no, I'm hung up. And then all of a sudden it moved and I said, oh no. And she jumped and I said, that's the biggest fish I've ever caught. Without a doubt, I knew instantly as soon as I saw her, this is a game changer. Nine and a half pounds. Now I just got to get on that mission to the double digit, but that was a nine and a half, baby. Nine and a half. Oh my God. I can't tell you how happy I am right now. I cannot tell you how happy I am right now. I'm sure you hear it. Holy nine and a half pound bass. Oh my God. Wait till you see this fish. It's on my story. I love you. I'll let you go. I love you. I'm going to look now. Nine pounds, eight ounces. Nine and a half pounds, baby. New PB on Lake T on the Devon smoke, baby. Oh my 
<laughs> oh my god, Jay, I'm so amped right now, bro. Nine eight, dude. Nine pounds, eight ounces. As soon as she jumped, as soon as she jumped, dude, all of a sudden knock. I'm like, that could have been a fish. Just hammer on my hook set, and I'm like, nah, I'm hung up. And then it tugged, and I said, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. And it was a nine pound, eight ounce large knot bass, dude. Giant. Yes, dude. Certified giant. Vid coming all on camera. Aww. New PB, baby. Woo! We just gotta get that double dig, dude. We're on a mission for the double digs now. Dang, dude, that was epic. All right, brother, I'll let you go. All right, man. Later. Later. Man, I am so jacked. I'm so jacked. I don't even care what happens for the rest of the day. First fish of the day, first bite of the day, and it was a 9-8. Everything else is just a bonus. Man, whoo! I've been putting in work for that fish. I fish all the time. I fish every day I can. Dude, I don't even know what I'm saying. That's the best that I've ever seen. I'm so jacked. Instagram, nine pounds, eight ounces. What's up? Captain, what are you doing? It's not, it, listen, it ain't often and it ain't ever that I catch a fish that makes me call my mama from the boat, but I just caught the biggest fish I ever caught in my life. Really? Nine, nine pounds, eight ounces. Whoa! Man, I don't even know what to say. That was epic. That was freaking epic, dude. We just keep fishing, I guess. We can just keep fishing. Dude. That right there was the one. That was the one. Neo Geo, baby. That divine smoke. Oh my gosh. Dude. Yes, yes, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Let's check our line and keep fishing. What do you say, dudes? Good to go. Everything did its job. Dobbin Sierra, 734C, Shimano Corrado, 15 pound fluorocarbon in a 3 8 ounce Divine swim jig and Pro Green with a Kitek 3.8 fat swing impact trailer on the back of it. Just got me the biggest fish that I've ever caught in my life. And I'm just gonna stay out here and keep fishing because that's all I know to do after that, baby. Woo! That was awesome. Just sitting over there by that rock and just scooped it in and wonder wharfed it dude freaking woo that was awesome yes smell the honeysuckles here that was so awesome Throw a new trailer on real quick. Man, that right there is why you guys hear me harp on the Devon Swim Jig so much and why I will throw these things year round without hesitation. Because that right there, PB on that Devon Smoke. There's a bite. There we go. Another one. That's another nice fish, maybe. Feels like a decent fish. Nope, just a little fighter. But he hammered it, and he is a fighter. Oh, number two, I'll take him. Thanks, buddy. Let's get it. That right there, man, no matter the time of year, I've got this bait tied on and on deck all times. Can't stop, won't stop with that divine smoke. So glad I decided to stop and hit this spot. Had one bump it on the way down. I felt him hit it. Come on, baby. They're back there, huh? I felt him knock it on the way down. I was letting it sink. I've been throwing it out there, counting to five, and then starting my slow retrieve. But that one, he bumped it on the way down. Came out here to unjack it around and caught a new PB. Damn, I don't really know what to say. Other than how awesome was that, dudes. This is awesome. 
Ne sen sokmuşsun? Three. Boom! Look at that gold color on that dude. Him. Got to catch twenty of these to weigh just one of that first fish we caught today. Let's go. As soon as I started getting around the corner here on this point, he was sitting there. He came up and whacked it a couple times, missed it, and then came back for it. So that was cool. Shoes. Gotta get my shoes, dude. Here we go. Quick and easy. Easy enough there. Didn't even have to go over there. Just had to get on the other side of it. Man, sometimes you just got to get on the other side of it and you'll be good to go. Which is exactly what happened there. We're good to go. Let's go, baby. Swim jig heaters. Devon smoke. Nine pounds. Eight ounces. Which equals half a pound. Nine and a half pound. Monstro Megalodon Behemoth. I'm flabbergasted. Chagrin. Don't know what to say or think other than that was awesome. Bass forecast wasn't jacking around today, were they? Woo! <laughs> they were right on the money. These jigs have that flat chin on them, that little flat lip on the bottom. Makes them great for skipping up under docks like that. Not like that, like this. There we go. Money. moving towards it and it was moving towards me a little bit so I thought it was a fish and it's a tree there's one nice he smacked it come on baby decent fish Devon swim jig smoke all day. All right, dudes. Pulled up here and cracked one pretty quick on the swim jig. So let's go. See if we can get another one. Let's go, baby. Devon smoke. Nine pounds, eight ounces. Get you some. Devon smoke, baby. Woo! Heaters only, skeeters and heaters. Let's go. Got to get into those crevasses. That was a bite. A couple nibbles here, but no committers. There's one. Hit it as soon as it hit the water. No, it's a tree. Now it's a fish. Hit it as soon as it hit the water, dude. He smoked it. And then he went into the tree for a second. It's a quad. The quads like that. Ow! Ah, ah. 
Come here. The guad's like that. Ow. Ah. Ah. I was going to say the guad's like that divine smoke too, apparently. Still out here smacking them. Everything else is just a bonus. Pretty little dude. Later, buddy. Yeah, he smacked it like as soon as it hit the water up there shallow, just before I could even start reeling. It, it was gone. I thought I was snagged. And then I was snagged for a minute because he swam right into a tree. I got him out of it. Good stuff. Still hitting the swim jig out here. I was just starting to think about maybe slowing down, switching up to a prong because it's been a minute since I had a bite and then ba 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 boom fish. That's what we want. Swim jig eaters. Moving bait eaters. I prefer not to have to slow down and drag a Texas rig around. I'm not above it, especially when the bite gets super tough, but I like it when they're hitting the movers. The movers and the shakers, you know? To each their own. Some people love dragging a worm around. I know some dudes that are just fully content with throwing a freaking drop shot and dead sticking it all day no matter what time of the year it is. I'm like, dude, I'm after those freaking heat seekers, man. Those those smokers, those active eaters, aggression, skadoosh, on top or under, underwater, underwear, I don't care. I just want some action, some moving bait action. <sighs> Trailer time. It's my last one, man. No good. I think I'm about to switch over to the top water to see if I can get me a skadoosh while I'm out here. Just because it's fun. Caught the biggest fish of my life earlier. So, yeah, that's a thing. Freshy. Gigged and rigged. Let's go. Let's go. Devon Smoke. There's a bass right there following it, though. I can see him. He's just swimming around. The heck, you doing, dude? You don't want to eat? There he is. Oh, did you see that? That was a there was a skadoosh. He just barely missed it. I saw him coming. He darted off of that tree. Oh, I just saw him go back down. He darted off of that tree up there and came up after it. So he really wanted it, dude. That was some aggression. Got snagged in the tree. That's what's up right there. That gives me hope that we might be able to get one on top. He was definitely coming for it. Yeah, there's some more little bass right there. Some bluegill all around right here. Sometimes if a little one goes after it, it'll like get a big one fired up and the big one will come up after like steal it, you know? Like that's my minnow. There, oh, did you see that? He flew out of the water trying to eat it and missed it. Dude, they're definitely hitting the top water. There's another one right over there in that crevasse. Let's see if we'll come after it again. Yep, there he is. Look at him, they're just, it's just too small to eat it. He's just hitting it and flying out of the water. That's crazy. He's too small to even eat the dang thing. That's not the one I'm after. Peter. It's funny though, it shows you how tenacious these dang bass are. He's about the same size as the bait, just trying to murder it. We'll get a we'll get a, a bigger one to come up and smack this thing soon enough. Oh look at him right there. There she is right there. See that shadow? Oh man, I can see her perfectly. She was coming up for it. She seemed interested in that top water, but she wasn't she wasn't going for it. She was just kind of Slowly crawling behind it. I'll throw the swim jig over there under that tree. See if she'll eat this. Here comes Kyle. His big blue boat with all his freaking water bags in it. Freaking Kyle. Here comes Kyle's rollers. Last chance. There he is. Got one. That's a last chance before Kyle's rollers come rolling in. And got one on the dang dogma on the top. Another guad. Nice guad. He's all beat up though. Check him out. Something tried to eat this boy. It's a nice guad. Don't thrash. Ooh, I knew he was going to do it. A little thrasher. Trying to get me hooked, boy. My pliers for this dude. Jugular. This dude got it in the jugular. Sorry, buddy. He rashed up enough. I'll let you go. Later, dude. All right, skadoosh. Top water, caught up in the top water. Cool, let's keep it rolling then. Everyone, nice. Two in a row, baby. It's a nice fish too. 
they're just, they're fired up and they're straight smack in top water. That was the adjustment I needed to make, man. Picked up this dogma, boom, boom, boom. They want that top water smoke. Almost got a hook in my hand just then. Would have sucked. Boom, beautiful fish, man. Look at that color on him. Awesome. He's fat and happy. Smacked it. Smacked it. Skadoosh. That's three in a row on top. I think I know what to do from here on out. Later, buddy. Shout out to all my Instagram followers. If you're not following me on Instagram, at the Justin Royal. See all the behind the scenes. See the Instagram lives when we're out here fishing. Shout outs, giveaways, Instagram. Let's go, baby. Dog must smoke. They out here eating on top. Just how I like it. Just how I like it. Boom. That was one, and then I made a little piddly cast. Practically two fish right in a row right there, both on top water. And I've had several bites right here quick on this thing, so that's what I'm doing. They're looking up, dude. They're looking up, they're not looking down, and they're smashing. Let's go. Let's go, baby. There's one. Nice. He was behind that rock. He did not want to come up. Another chunk. Dogma smoke in the forehead. It's freaking, you're stuck, bro. Let me help you out. that butterfly did you see that later dude hello skadoosh bunch of skadoosh bags out here today they just want it on top dude so that's what i'm gonna give top water skadoosh god two in a row i missed right there Dang, they're still skadooshing though. They just, I just need him to come up and inhale. He puffed, but he did not inhale. He Bill Clinton, that bad boy. Puffed, but he didn't inhale. Straight Bill Clinton, two in a row. Bill Clinton. Again, Bill Clinton. Took a puff, but didn't inhale. That dude could run for president. There's one. That one's on there. Nope, nope, that one's off of there. Drug it through the trees and ripped off. Had another one come off. He didn't just puff it though. That, that boy full blown inhaled. If he didn't have to come through that tree, he would have still been on there. There's another one. Nice. Another little dude. Later, buddy. Oh, he did a he did a flip. He did a cracker jack for us. Cracker jack. Gotta be a fat hungry one waiting around here somewhere for us. I don't need another nine, but I'll take a four or an eight or a seven or a three, whatever. Numbers. Math. Big maths. Let's go. 122 and an eight. 122 and an 8. Where are the 122 and an 8? You're standing on it, dude. First one to go down below in the comments and tell me what movie that's from wins. I don't know what you win, but you win. You're standing on it, dude. They don't make them like that anymore. They don't make them like that anymore, dudes. They just draw it on the pewter. All right. We're running out of daylight. PB banger, 9 pounds, 8 ounces. Everything else is just a bonus.